everyone, it's Darren here, welcome back to my channel, or if you're a new viewer, welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and I make lifestyle, university and advice videos here on this channel. So if you are a new viewer and you're watching this video as you're preparing to start university, firstly congratulations. And second of all, I'm just going to have to throw in that promo. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below because I have so many university videos coming out for you guys. In fact, I'm just going to drop it in now. To celebrate just hitting 26,000 subscribers, I'm actually going to be posting a new video literally tomorrow morning so you guys are going to get two back to back videos as a thank you for 26,000 subscribers. Tomorrow's video will also be a university preparation video which I'm literally so excited for you guys to see. But yeah enough of self promo. Today's video is going to be my top 10 tips of things that you should hear before starting uni. These are things that I personally wish I'd known before starting uni as well as things that I know worked really well for me during my first year. So without further ado let's just go ahead and jump straight into this video of my top 10 tips that you should hear before starting university. of this video is to say yes to everything. The word yes when you start university it should literally be your best friend. For example, do you want to go out tonight? Yes. Do you want to grab coffee later? Yes. Do you want to do a line of coke in the bathroom? Yeah. I always got you <laughs> I was obviously just joking about the last one. YouTube do not demonetize me. Freshers do not think I'm advising you to do drugs. But in all seriousness, saying yes to things at the start of university is honestly one of the most beneficial things that you can do for yourself and your social life and making friends. At the start of university, there are so many things going on like freshers events, flat parties, motives, you name it. And at the very start of uni and when you move in, it's very easy for you to kind of like want to corner off to yourself. That's how I was. I don't know what it is, but I was so, so awkward and had such anxiety when I first came here and so I found that once I actually started saying yes to all of these events and things that people were inviting me to that's when I was having the most fun at university and I'm so so happy that I did go out on all of those nights that I would rather have just stayed in and watched Netflix so yeah I 100% recommend saying yes to things having fun and living your best life in first year I can guarantee you will thank yourself so much later <laughs> two of today's video is something that so many of you guys pointed out in my moving in vlog from last year. I'll have the video linked down below in the description box. It's literally about to hit 100,000 views. That's crazy to me. But um, yeah, in that video, I showed you guys my snack drawer. I think at the time it was a snack drawer. Now it's literally a snack cupboard. Having a snack drawer slash cupboard in your university halls room is such an essential. I genuinely can't emphasize it enough. If you go to the video, you'll see that I have like chocolate bars, popcorn, crisps drinks that thing was stocked up still right now it is still pretty stocked up it's just great to have whenever you're feeling peckish because it means that you don't have to go outside to like your local supermarket to get a snack and also it means that when you come back from a night out and you're probably quite drunk you're sorted Moving on to tip number three, this is more of a life hack for when you start your lectures and it's actually a software that is literally a game changer when it comes to uni and making university notes. So I don't know about you guys, but when my lecturers tell us to print something out, I don't know what it is, I don't know why I'm so lazy, but I just don't like printing out things. I don't know if this is just like a really millennial thing. Am I even a millennial or am I like generation? Z, the generation X. I don't know these things. But basically, I'm a tech girl. I'm literally sat here on YouTube. I personally like to have everything just on my laptop, everything like online and digital. That's just how I roll. So there's this really cool software that I recently became aware of and have been loving called PDF Element, which actually allows you to edit and annotate PDFs. <laughs> university we have this site called Moodle I think quite a lot of universities use it where we have loads of different documents and handbooks on there that our teachers always tell us to print out and make notes and you guys have gathered by now that that's not my style so you can actually use this software to take the PDF file that you've been given and then bring it onto the software where you can actually edit it and make notes on it write your own text literally do so many things with it the software also allows you to convert PDFs to other file types like word documents which is personally something I have been looking for for so long 
So this software is honestly such a game changer for me. Next year, I'm just gonna roll to you with my laptop. I'm not gonna need to worry if I don't have a pen or not because I'm just gonna be doing everything on my laptop using PDF Element. It's such an essential software in my opinion that literally every student is most likely going to need at one point or another throughout university. So I genuinely couldn't recommend it enough. I'm so happy that I've started using it. It's so easy to use. It was really affordable as well and comes with really professional tools that will make your life at uni 10 times easier. It's available on both Windows and Mac, so regardless of what laptop you have, you're sorted. And right now there's actually a 40% off deal going on, which I 100% recommend you guys checking out and grabbing if you're interested. I'll have a link down below in the description box if you'd like to check it out. I genuinely can't recommend it enough. You guys know that I only come on here to talk about products that I genuinely like, and this one definitely meets my expectations of it, so I am so, so happy with it. of lectures tip number four is to actually go to your lectures I don't know how people don't go to their lectures maybe it's because I'm just like a geek low-key but I had like a hundred percent attendance for like the first two terms and then when it got to the third term I was like you know what I kind of understood uni a bit more so I knew like what lectures I could miss but definitely go to all of your lectures especially in the first term build that good relationship with your tutors and your lecturers it's honestly so important there are obviously just going to be days where you can't be bothered to go to uni honestly guys like that is me most of the time but it's honestly better to be there and like low-key be zoning out or not bother taking notes than to not be there at all and catch up online which is so much longer because you're like properly taking notes and if you don't understand something you're like oh my gosh what do I do whereas if you just went to the lecture and like not even made proper notes at least you were still there and like kind of understood what they were talking about you know that's what I did anyways <laughs> Tip number five, this is the final thing I'm gonna talk about actual like university work because I'm, I'm bored of it now, you know, like let's get on to the partying tips. But tip number five is to invest in a good laptop. As I was talking about earlier, everything's digital, everything's online. So you wanna have a laptop that you genuinely like using, that's easy to use, that's light. It's really important that you have a laptop that you like and that you'll know that you'll be able to use throughout your three to four years at university. I've actually been receiving quite a few DMs about people saying that they're not able to afford MacBook. Honestly guys, I think there's like this idea that at uni everyone has a MacBook. I personally already had a MacBook like way before I started university because I was using it to edit these videos. But if you don't have one already, please don't think you have to buy one just for university. Literally half of my class have like so many different brands of laptops. You don't have to spend 1000 plus on something that does the same job as like every other laptop. As a lot of you guys will know if you follow me on my Instagram or if you, yeah, I think Instagram I'm a partner with ASUS as a part of their Tech in Style campaign. So I've been really fortunate enough to receive and try products from them. I've had the opportunity to try out an ASUS laptop and I can genuinely say that after using a Mac for six years and after using my ASUS Chromebook for a couple of months, they genuinely do the same job and the price difference is obviously so much lower with the ASUS Chromebook. So I just wanted to put out there that there are so many amazing laptops other than Macs. Obviously, if you have the budget for a Mac and that's what you want, then go ahead. But if you're feeling the pressure to buy a Mac simply because you think everyone at uni has one, that is not the case at all. So I just wanted to throw that out there. Tip number six, this is all about halls. I don't know what it is, but I think halls is like the most fun part of university. There are so many flat parties, there are so many just things going on with people in halls. I can't wait for you guys to move in and get to experience all of this, hopefully. But one thing about halls is that the only way for you to reap the benefits is by literally putting yourself out there. It's kind of like what I said in tip number one about saying yes to everything. In halls, just to make that little extra effort to be as friendly and sociable with everyone because you will be living there for a whole year. So I can't recommend enough how important it is to build good relationships and friendships with everyone not just your flatmates but like everyone in the halls <laughs> Number seven is also about halls and it's something that I wish someone shouted at me and that is 
don't bring your entire life to halls. Like, I just can't stress it enough. I don't know what it was, especially as I'm already from London and I just moved to, like, another part of London. I still felt that I had to bring, like, my entire life up here. And it's just not true. Try your hardest not to overpack when you come up here because you don't want to make your room too, like, claustrophobic. A top tip that I recommend, actually, and you're able to travel home easily is to only bring clothes for each season. I brought, like, summer, winter, spring, clubbing, beachwear, bikinis up here and then like obviously only use certain pieces in like certain parts of the year just bring what you need until the next time you go home and then like switch up like that and yeah you'll thank yourself a lot when it comes to moving out because now i'm moving out in two days and i literally have so much to box up i'm not mentally ready for it so yeah this is a tip that i actually wish i had known before starting and it's something that i 100 recommend you guys taking on board for when you start packing <music> is about budgeting Ooh. this is a topic that loads of people like to brush aside honestly same however I was very fortunate that my dad was like no this is what we're doing with your student loan most people get shocked when I say that I've never had a problem never had any issues with money being a university student because I budgeted let me not take all of the credit for it because this was actually my dad's idea but basically how I allowed myself to never run out of money was by giving all of my student loan to my dad who then like calculated all of the weeks I'm actually at university and then divided it so that I would be given an allowance every two weeks I found that this really worked for me because it meant that I knew exactly how much money I had to last me for 14 days as opposed to just having my student loan and then being like yeah like let's let's go out and buy like 10 Jager bombs you know so me and my friends spent so much money during freshers and then when it came towards the end of time they were literally living off of like pot noodles so yeah if you feel like you can't be trusted with money do what I did give your loan to one of your parents and then they can like allocate you like a weekly or two week allowance which is what I had and hopefully that should allow you to be more responsible with your spending you just need to think of it long term and think okay how will I make this money stretch so yeah 100% recommend to tip number nine this is also about money and this is actually to have a card which has a contactless feature or alternatively opening up an apple pay account i don't know if this is just me being really behind but i only opened a bank account with a contactless card like four or five months ago my original card was chip and pin and i was too lazy to go to the bank and get them to switch it to contactless but when you're a student and you're on the go and you have to get to a lecture quickly or you're at a club and you can't be bothered to spend time putting in your pin a card which is contactless makes your life so much easier or having apple pay on your phone is something that's just literally like a lifesaver it makes everything so much quicker and more efficient and as a student time is of the essence so if you don't have one it's literally so easy to go to a bank and get them to switch it for you or you can literally just set up Apple Pay on your phone. final tip of today's video is to honestly just be yourself for me this tip is something that was so important and is still so important for me because if you guys have been following this channel for a while you'll know that i went to a very like academic academic nearly school failed me you'll know that i went to a very academic all girls grammar school so when i came to lcf which is obviously part of university of the arts london i mixed with so many different types of people who are a lot more free and expressive and creative and open and were into things that i'd never even like considered or never even seen because I live like quite a sheltered life so when you start uni and you're in that very like vulnerable stage where you're trying to make friends and you're trying to be included with everyone or like be cool or whatever just don't conform to peer pressure if there's something that you don't want to do you literally don't have to do it you're an adult now like you're away from your parents you're living your own life you live by yourself so if you're ever in a situation where you're like hold on a sec like is this what I actually want to do or am I only doing it because these people are doing it then just take a step back and think for yourself so yeah just be yourself when you're at university remember your morals remember what you believe in it's so easy to get easily influenced or peer pressured and I know that it's obviously easier said than done but honestly just try to be yourself it will allow you to make much more genuine friends and allow you to have like a more authentic connection with people so yeah I can't recommend this tip enough obviously when you're at university you do change your interests change you try new things so I'm not saying like stick to the exact same person that you were when you first started because that is impossible I'm just saying like remember who you are remember what you want 
on and just don't allow anyone to get in the way of that. <laughs> so yeah, that is the end of today's video, which were my top 10 tips of things that you should know before starting university. I honestly had so much fun filming this video. I felt like I was able to share experiences from my first year and also really help you guys along the way. So if you did find it helpful, I'd love if you let me know in the comments down below. I love seeing all of your lovely comments and I literally respond to every single one so we can have a little conversation going on. My social media links, as always, will also be in the description box down below, as well as information about PDF Element, which is literally like so if you did want to check it out and grab that 40% off, that will also be popped down there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and also a massive thank you for 26,000 subscribers. I'm so excited about the direction that this channel is going and I'm genuinely so passionate about the videos that I'm making now. So I'm literally over the moon and can't thank you guys enough for all of your support. As I mentioned, there will be a new video tomorrow morning at 9am. I literally can't wait for you guys to see it. I'm collaborating with such a big company. Make sure your post notifications are on so that you see that tomorrow morning. But that is all for today's video. I'm wishing you guys all the very best with your preparations for university. And I'll see you guys all in tomorrow's video. Bye!